Don't buy smart doorbell. Instead, build your own AI powered smart doorbell with just 15 lines of Python. This is super easy, super simple, and super crazy. So let's get started. And before getting into the detail, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, grandma will go to your girlfriend's house and ding dong her doorbell. So to start this project, you will need a Python code environment. And for me, I am using Visual Studio Code. So in my computer, I am opening the Visual Studio Code. And by using the Visual Studio Code, I'm just creating a folder. So I'm clicking on this open folder. And in my computer C drive, I have a folder called Python projects. Inside it, I'm creating a new folder. And I'm calling it AI doorbell. And inside this folder, First thing I will do is to create a file and for doing this, I will click on this plus icon new file and give it a name called main.py and I already have Python extension installed in my Visual Studio code. So first thing I will do is install a package and for that I will press Ctrl J at the bottom you will see the terminal and there I will type pip install and then open cb python. And this will take just few seconds for me because I have already installed it. For you, it might take a few more seconds. Once you have this package installed, all you need just in seven lines of Python to open the webcam in your computer and see yourself inside your computer. Oh my God! Wow! So first thing I will do, just import this package that I just installed. So import cv2 and once you have the cv2 imported, the next thing is to capture video. For that purpose, I will declare a variable called cap on the right side. I will call cv2 and then dot video capture. And for this video capture, you will pass a parameter and that will say that which webcam or video capturing device you want to get. For me, I want to get the default webcam. That's why I Put zero. In your case, you might try zero, one, or two if you don't see yourself in your computer. The next thing you have to understand that video is nothing but a motion picture. One image after an image is coming forever. And that's why in Python we will write a infinity loop. And I will write while and then true. This true means this, this loop will run forever. And inside this while loop, the first thing for me is to read the frame of the video that I'm capturing from line two. That's why I will declare two variables. The first one I will ignore. That's why I put underscore and then I will give it a name called frame on the right side from my cap. I would like to the cap variable above. I would like to read whatever there. And once I have this cap, the next thing I need to is to show the frame that I'm capturing in the line number four. And for that purpose, I will call CB2 and I will call I am show. That means image show. And I will give a first name and this would be smart doorbell. And the second parameter would be frame. So I will just type the frame. And that's all you need to do to see yourself. But once you are running a infinity loop, you should have something to stop this for loop. And for that purpose, I will write a simple condition and Inside the if, I will say cb2 to wait for any key press on the keyboard. And you will tell cb2 to wait for just 10 milliseconds. And you will check on the right side whether they are typing the Q key on the keyboard. So I'll just type Q. And inside this, I will just break the loop. So these two lines means that the system will wait 10 milliseconds for anybody to press on the Q key on their keyboard. If they press on the Q key, it will stop the loop. Otherwise, this would be running forever. So if you have just written these seven lines of Python, you will have computer vision ready and see yourself on your computer. So I'm just clicking on this run button and wait for see grandma showed up with this webcam in front of you and you will see yourself. This is super easy, just seven lines. And if you type any key, this will not go. If you say like a love, girlfriend, honey, doesn't matter. It will not do anything. And whenever you press the Q key on the keyboard, this would be gone. So you're done with the first phase. The second phase is the most interesting part. And for that purpose, you will need to recognize a face. That means whether anybody is coming in front of your computer. If they comes, it will detect the person. 
and for that purpose you need another python package and that package is called face recognition and to run this face recognition you will need three different things installed in your computer first thing is called cmake second thing is c++ build tools and the last one is delib i will put the detailed links in the description below but for me i will just install here the face recognition and i will type pip install face underscore recognition and once you install it you are pretty much ready to detect the faces you just need like a three four lines of code and what i will do i will just import the face recognition so i will type uh, import and then face recognition and once you have this below this frame just immediate below the frame you will detect that whether there are faces there so i will declare a variable called faces and on the right size i will call this face recognition package that i just installed and then i will use the method called face location and the purpose of this method is to find out in the image that where is the face is located and you could have like a one or multiple faces in the frame so i will just when i am calling this face locations i will pass the frame to this method and if you have done this correctly just below under this line you can just print faces and that will show you the early sign that you are able to detect faces with just two three extra lines so i'll save this guy i will click on this run button and within a few seconds you will see your webcam is popping up and if you just hide little bit aside so that you are not visible to this webcam you are hiding at the bottom you'll see you are seeing an array but nothing inside it when you come in front of the camera it shows you the coordinate the position of your faces that means my friend you are able to detect whether a person in front of the camera or not so if you hide okay you'll see empty if you come back it is there you hide you can do the peekaboo if you hide your face it's gone if you open the face it's come back super easy just three lines of code so after that we are going to the, our third phase and third phase is to ding dong run the doorbell now i will press the q to stop my webcam and my next step is to the ding dong sound so this ding dong sound i need to think logically have some special package and also run it very smoothly so i will do it step by step first you have to think that when you want to ring the doorbell if you just do it here that for example if you detect any faces and underneath it you're just printing ding dong ding dong ding dong something like this and this will become very annoying so if i just run it you will see at the bottom in the terminal that whenever it detects a face it's continuously ringing 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 and it becomes an annoying kid that who is pressing the doorbell again and again and again and again, again nobody likes this annoying kid you have to be sober romantic maybe smart so we cannot do it in a real world case so i will press q and stop it instead i will have a special flag that will keep an eye whether a doorbell was ringed or not so i will declare a variable just above this while loop and i will call it sound underscore plate and by default would be false and inside in the if condition i will check if there is a face also sound is not played so after the if faces i will write and and not sound play and what is checking it says like i can detect a face also i didn't play the sound yet and after that i will go print ding dong and i will update this variable sound played equals to true so what is happening that by default it didn't play the sound it detects a face and also didn't play the sound it play the sound and then mark i have played the sound this is good but it has a small problem and we'll update it so let's run it and see what happens here that if we run this guy whenever it detects the face it ding dong ding dong only once and then it stops which is good but what if i am playing hide and seek with my girlfriend i'm hiding so that she appears and then i come back it doesn't ring bell so what we can do that if somebody is there and if they are gone or hiding somewhere else and they come back we want to ring the bell again and we can do it very easy way i will press q and after this if i can just write another simple logic and that's else if so i'm writing else if 
and there I will say if there is no faces, not faces and sound is played, I want to reset this. I want to reset this flag and set it to false. So what is happening here? At the beginning, you have this flag called sound fledged and whenever it comes here, it detects a face and didn't play the sound. So it places the sound and immediately marks that I have played the sound and it stops there. But whenever the face goes away and, and sound already played, then it resets it so that whenever the whenever the person comes back, it does it again. So let's see whether this is working. So I'm running this code and by default, whenever I'm available in front of the door, you will see a ding dong one time right now. Whenever I go hide outside of the camera and come back, you'll see another ding dong. If I hide again, like playing pickup with my girlfriend and open, you'll see ding dong again. So this is working at least logically. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Now we need the actual sound. An actual sound, we need to do three things to make it actually logically and smoothly working. So first thing I will do is stop this uh, webcam and I will install a package. And that package is super easy and I will do like a pip install play sound. Very easy name. And this just took like a few seconds to be installed. And once this is installed is done, think about if you are running the doorbell sound right here, what it will do? It will freeze the camera and play the sound. Once the sound is over, then it will start over again. We don't want to do that. Rather, we want to do it in a playful way, a smoother way, so that the camera doesn't freeze and the sound is running on the side in a different thread. And definitely I will need a sound file. So in my uh, computer, I will open this uh, projects folder. Inside my C dev, I have a Python projects folder and inside this, I have a file. Don't worry, I will put this in GitHub so that you can have this one too. And I copy this dude inside my AI doorbell folder. So if you come to the Visual Studio code, you will see next to your main.py, you have a doorbell sound. And since we are thinking of like using in a separate thread, all we need to do is to import the threading. So I will import a threading and also I will need to import the play sound I just installed. So I bring this to and to run the thread, I will declare a simple function, very easy function. So this would be defined and the ring underscore bell. And in this function, I will call the play sound above. From this play sound, I will call another method called play sound and I will give the name of the sound file, which is my doorbell.web. That's pretty much it for setting the thread. And now instead of this printing, all I will do is to call the threading and create a new thread. There I set the target to be my ring bell. So this would be calling this ring bell function. And after that, I will call the thread to be started. That's pretty much all I need to do. So I save this guy. I click on this run button and see my awesome Python AI powered smart doorbell is working for me or not. Did you hear this sound? If you hear this sound, say wow, write comment below. And if I hide again and come back, you see another sound. If I hide my face, you'll see the door bell is ringing smoothly without interrupting. So that's all you need, my dear friend, to build your own smart AI powered doorbell. So don't buy any of this ring or the crappy things, build your own. If you watch this video until this point, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that grandma can bring more awesome, fantastic AI powered video just for you. And if you face any problem to install any of the packages, Write comment below or join our Discord channel and we'll try to solve each of the problem that you might have. That's all from today. Grandma will be seeing you in your doorbell in the dark night.